Welcome to Baritone Call. Thanks for tuning in, guys. On tonight's episode, what you just heard was one of the best purchases I've made in years. It is a killer distortion pedal, overdrive, whatever you want to call it. It's the Rock Fabric Mind Abuse pedal. If you go back three or four years, you saw demos of this. So this isn't brand new, but it's new to me. And uh, how many times do you buy a pedal? And we buy a lot of them and you don't know. You might hear a review, um, you know, or you just want to check it out. Here's the box. You know where these guys are out of? Istanbul, Turkey. And I just took a chance on this. I don't know. I was like, mind abuse? I'm like, man, that's what everybody's been on this year. We all been mind abused. So I was like, man, that's perfect. Sign of the times, I'm getting it. And it's like, uh, one, yeah, number 167. One of the best ever. I couldn't believe it. And uh, I put that thing on and what you heard, it's the only pedal except a noise gate. And how cool is that? And there's three voicings on there. And so you have like vintage, modern, and classic. There's a little toggle switch and you'll see on our screen, a little mind abuse pedal with a little toggle. Every one of those, you know, vintage, modern, classic, they all sound good. So that's the beauty of this YouTube channel. You know, and if we were getting paid for it, that'd be even better. But that's that's not what's happening. This is a killer pedal. I think it sounds awesome. I'm gonna do a little bit of playing here in a minute to, to show you a little bit of it. And I'm just gonna keep it in the uh, setting that I have. So, you know, if you feel like grabbing one of these used, I definitely think it's worth it. Um, you know, and like I said, I'm trying to give it to you straight. And I, I love it. You know, as soon as I put this baby on, I was like writing a new song. And sometimes you got that magic moment, you know, when you get something and your gear inspires you. Um, that's kind of a bonus. So, you know, I haven't stepped out and bought a bunch of different overdrives or distortion this year. But um, yeah, definitely worth checking out. This band is worth checking out. Cannibal Corpse, one of my favorite bass players. Alex Webster, love that guy. And if you have some free time on your hands, these guys, Cannibal Corpse, have some awesome videos on YouTube. I don't know why I changed lanes there, but you know, one of the things I like about them as a band from the videos and stuff, and they've been together forever. And, um, you know, they just, when you share that love for music, uh, you know, you're in a bus and you're with the same people for years and years and years. I just was really, I don't know. It just made me feel good to see those guys after all these years and watching the videos of them guys always getting along over all those years. But what I got most out of them was how humble they were and how grateful they were um, to play. And that's what most musicians want. They just want to play. And you know, I know there's a lot of people out there right now that are having a hard time trying to adjust to this. And um, you know, I think it's I think it's hit everybody, you know? So that's why I was like, mind abuse. Mind abuse pedal. <laughs> Gosh. So yeah. Maybe you want to check them out. Maybe you don't. Maybe you hate them. I don't. I think Alex Webster's a genius on the bass. Man, I like all of those guys in that band, though. So, um, what else do we want before I get into some playing? Um, we got some videos coming up that I'm excited about. Uh, we got something really cool coming down the pipeline. Really cool. Um, stay tuned. Subscribe if you're watching this. Give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna switch to, I'm gonna do some riffs and get you some sounds without the drums. 
All right. something a little heavy on there that riff that I was doing the other week in the red layer video I got a story for you guys so let me play it a quick second so it was the opening one to one of our songs <laughs> We put that out, you know, and Red Layer put that on their Facebook page, and man, I butchered that riff. Well, whatever. So later that day, then the evening or whatever, I'm in the DAW and I'm recording and I'm doing that take. And I'm embarrassed to say it, but whatever. I did that take about 50 times, and I never ever have that problem. I felt like my wires were short circuited, I swear. And so, why am I telling you this? Well, I get migraines. And uh, no, this is not a pharmaceutical commercial. Imitrex. If you guys ever take any of that, what it does, I found out, is it restricts blood flow to the brain. And I'm being for real here. And uh, I was just like trying to figure that out. And I'm like, I can't believe I can't get this take on uh, recording it. So I thought about it and I'm like, that's that Imitrex for migraine medicine. Anyways, I know it's often left field, but you know, if you guys, maybe there might be one person out there that gets migraines and they take that Imitrex. That stuff will short circuit your brain, man, for playing. Let's get back to this though. I just thought of see this I'm on the seventh fret and the twelfth fret and I can even go to the thirteenth fret why am I pointing that out a lot of players weak pinky and they're playing you can see it everywhere that's one thing if you are watching this and you play standard guitar you know 25 skill or 25 point uh, Five, anything like that you can pick a baritone up 27 scale 28 scale your pinky's gonna thank you um when you play a baritone you're not you're not gonna get anywhere and you see a lot of people using these three fingers so that's something to keep in mind if you're interested in baritones and you're watching this you see these long stretches or like these chords like this the pinky is always in use in the baritone um, or at least I'm trying to, I'm conscious of it. So, anyways. <laughs>
Hold on one second. I'm going to switch it to modern. I want to give you guys another tone out of this. Thanks for tuning in guys. I really love this pedal. Giving it to you straight. I think if you go and buy it, you're gonna love it. Rock fabric. What a cool pedal. I'm so happy that I bought it. Go check them out guys. Stay awesome. <laughs>